The topic of money may not be something that you talk about every day, but it is important for every college student. While some students come to college with a wide range of money experiences, others may have never held a job or been responsible for a bank account. Money matters, but managing money matters more. This next segment takes a look at the do's and don'ts of managing money. There's a lot of things that go into the cost of college. The first big one is tuition. That's what everybody thinks about. But included in our tuition here at the university, we had a bus pass and a gym membership too. And then depending on where you live, you have to think about paying rent. And so that includes food as well, thinking about bills, and all of that kind of breaks down differently depending if you live on campus or off campus. And it's also important to think about having extra spending money. Going to the movies or maybe catching a, a meal that's not on campus. One thing that I didn't think about when I was looking at a breakdown of what I'd be spending when I attended university was money for emergencies, especially technology emergencies. As a university student, I'm very dependent on my technology, whether it's my smartphone or my laptop. And one time my smartphone broke. I dropped it, the screen shattered, and I had to pay for that. And I wasn't anticipating that cost. So one of the great things about being on a campus with other college students is they totally understand the being on the tight college student budget. So with my friends, I was really fortunate that we were all kind of in that same boat. So together we were able to hold each other accountable for not spending money on things that we didn't necessarily need and finding free activities to do in our spare time. I, I was hanging out with a crowd my freshman year that maybe had a little bit more money than I had and they were, they were a little bit more uh, available to spend that money and being in, involved in a group like that and the peer mentality and the mom mentality happens and I start to think that I have money when I, in reality I don't. One thing that's really important is thinking about your budget for you personally and not being too influenced by the people around you. I know for me personally it wasn't a good idea to get a credit card so I didn't. While I have other friends who use credit cards really smart, they use it really well and make really good choices with it, I didn't follow that suit because I knew I wouldn't be good at it. So there are a lot of apps available to help you with your budget. I know Mint is one example and you can find so many, but what's really important is finding one that best fits your needs. One thing that really helped me with just controlling and managing my own budget was creating a spreadsheet or a table of where I spent my money and where that money was directed to. After looking critically at my budget, I realized that it was a necessity for me to get a job. So I looked through different campus jobs and was able to find one that matched my personal interests. I work at the university gym as an intramural coordinator. What I do is I, I supervise and make sure that the intramurals program runs smoothly and efficiently. And thankfully, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be able to gain a whole bunch of leadership experience and also earn a paycheck at the same time. For my parents, they definitely kept me in check when it came to spending. Um, I let my parents have access to my bank account and they'd say, Nadine, do you really need to go out and buy coffee every single day? So I think having them hold me accountable helped me think and make smarter choices when it came to my spending. So just because you're budgeting doesn't mean that you don't get to have fun on your college campus and you don't get to have these amazing experiences. And it's important to budget for those extra things. I have a personal category on mine for called the treat yourself area and I use that to do things that I really want to. And so I don't think you have to deprive yourself just because maybe you don't have as much money as you're used to because you have different things you have to pay for. So it's okay to take some time and spend a little bit extra and do something nice for yourself. Financially, it's important to think about needs versus wants and being able to distinguish between the two. Budgeting in college is just as important as budgeting for college and it's imperative that you plan ahead.